The Slim Brother Healthy Buffet Part 1. My name is Jodie Winting and this is another Food for Thought daily health tip to help you lose some weight. Now, we're having a little party, my Slim Brothers and Sisters, on Sunday to celebrate my birthday, a bit of a belated birthday party. We're having a buffet. So what I'd like to do with you today is share with you exactly some of the items. These are the items that are not perishable, so these are the items that are out of the fridge. Uh, and I'll be sharing part number two on Sunday morning because we're having the party on Sunday. So let's go through all these products. Most of them are from Aldi. I'll let you know uh, what isn't. So first of all, whole grain rice cakes is the first item on the buffet. Uh, next up we've got corn cakes which are very much like a rice cake but they're made of corn instead of rice. We've also got some original rye vita, also known as original rye. Uh, we have some actual rivitas, and I've got the pumpkin seed and oat ones. I've never tried those before, uh, and they have won a taste award as well, which is quite exciting. So we look forward to trying those. Now we've got two lots of oat cakes. Uh, we've got the seeded ones, and we've also got the black pepper ones. Uh, so those are lovely, especially if you haven't tried them before. If you haven't tried these before, they are individually not individually wrapped, but they're wrapped into four, um, there's four sections in each uh, box, is what I'm trying to say, uh, that I've also got tried before. Many of you won't have tried this before. I've got some rye bread, which is also from Aldi. This is original wholemeal rye bread. Uh, this one has got sunflower seeds as well. Now, as the model can see there, uh, you can just eat it like a normal sandwich. I prefer it um, toasted with butter on, uh, but you can just use it as a sandwich. I don't particularly like it, but again, I'm taking bringing it along for you guys to sample. Hi Lorraine, welcome to our live video. Uh, yes, yeah, so have you guys tried any of these products before? So what are we gonna be putting on all those rivitas, corn cakes, rice cakes? We have smooth peanut butter, and crunchy peanut butter. Uh, now again, if you're unsure which one is 100% nut, look for the one that says 100% nut. But generally, 100% nut, the quality peanut butter is in the glass jar and the cheap peanut butter, which they add sugar and oil to, is the one in the plastic jar. This one is £1.15 and the very cheap peanut butter is like 80 80p I think, 70, 80p. So there's not a huge difference in price wise, but as I said, uh, health wise, there's a massive difference with those. Uh, I've also got some, this is new Aldi. This is cashew butter uh, and almond butter as well. I love almond butter. I've never tried the cashew butter, so I'm looking forward to trying that as well. Uh, we also have some pickled onions, so the silver skin ones. Uh, the other ones are sweetened, so this is why we've gone to silver skin. A uh, little bit of a crunchy snack. We've got some pork crack some pork crackling, but these are the crunch ones. So these are the more lighter variety. Uh, glad you like uh, Rivita Claire. And yes, Lorraine, gotta love Aldi. Uh, now this is where I pop to Sainsbury's to get some salted popcorn, because Aldi have stopped doing salted popcorn. In fact, most places have stopped doing salted popcorn. They do sweet and salted or sweet. So I had to go to um, Sainsbury's to get these. Uh, and this is just sea salted popcorn. They've got two varieties, uh, pretty much the same. Uh, this one's 88 calories, this is 84 calories. So I've got the two different kinds. Laura's saying, I love cashews, but didn't like the cashew butter. That's good, Sarah, because cashew cashews are high in uh, carbs. So that's good, that's good news. Uh, we've also got some nuts. You'll like these, uh, Sarah. These are just cashews. These are peanuts. And I've also got some mixed nuts. I think they're the ones that you've got, Sarah. I've got some Brazils and almonds. The reason I've got these separately is because these are the two best ones, guys. If you are going to have some snacking nuts, uh, they are the bigger ones. And nutritionally, these are the best. So take a look. Buy these. Um, then also we've got some mixed seeds. We did have some <laughs> mixed seeds before I've literally just poured them all over the kitchen. Uh, I've rescued half of them, guys. Uh, yeah, that was me mixing. <laughs> 
literally everywhere right now. Um, then <laughs> we've got some mini cucumbers, uh, which again can be dipped into <laughs> the peanut spreads. Uh, but we're also going to have some cheese and some pate, which I'll show you in part two. Uh, we've got some baby plum tomatoes. Uh, and that's pretty much all the savoury items, uh, as I said, that's not kept in the fridge. Let's move on to the sweet selection. So I am bringing with me my 100% Hotel Chocolat Batons. Now, for those of you who've tried 100% chocolate and you don't like it, then don't try them again because it's exactly the same. For those of you who have tried 100%, haven't tried 100% chocolate, then try some of these. I would suggest not trying them on their own though. I've got some pears, I've got some apples, and just putting that and that in the same time in your mouth will be a nicer experience than just having that on its own. Just to warn you. Okay, so that's some apples. I've also got some pears as well. Uh, then we've also got some little boxes of raisins. Uh, we've got some delicious looking uh, dates. So again, uh, I got those from, I think I got those from Sainsbury's as well because they don't do those in Aldi. Uh, they're the fresh dates. And then I'm also getting some strawberries. So to go on the strawberries, I've got three products for you to try. I've got the Sweet Freedom chocolate. We've got the Cocoa Bee, which is basically just cocoa and honey. And then we've also got the Weight Watchers, basically copy of Nutella. So those are the three chocolate products I've got for you to dip into your strawberries. Uh, and no, Lorraine, I definitely couldn't do that again. Uh, it's fruit keto yeah with keto guys the only thing you can really have is a little bit of berries like strawberries um if you are on a strict keto then you do need to stay away from apples and stuff like that you could have a little bit of dark chocolate uh diane it's not all exclusively keto um as i said i've shared some grains and stuff like that let's talk drinks guys so this is all that was going to be on our healthy buffet drink uh, and I've got these infusions so there's a water fountain in the uh, studio where we're having our buffet uh, and I've got these four different ones for you to try there's mango and orange uh, this one is passion fruit mango and blood orange and then the bottom one is strawberry and watermelon which again has won a taste award and the other one is passion fruit and mango you can see I quite like passion fruit and mango from those seeing as three of them contain that. So those, <laughs> bless me. Right, so those are <laughs> different. I think the seeds are going up my nose. Uh, so those are the drinks. And as I said, those are the snacks. And I will do part number two on Sunday. Uh, and that's going to include some sushi, some cream cheese, some pate and some other bits and bobs that I'd love to share with you guys. So that is my healthy buffet. If you think, oh, you didn't forget this, or I forgot something, uh, then please let me know to think what you would put on your healthy buffet. I've of course got baby bells and some um, mature cheddar blocks as well. But that is the things that will be on the buffet uh, for our Slim Brother party on Sunday. Uh, thank you for joining us. I'll be back in a few minutes. I'm going to be doing another video tonight where I'm going to make my own protein balls. Join me again in a few minutes. Bye for now.